There's a gravitational anomaly ahead. It looks like... Oh, no, this can't be right. At this strength, it's a black hole! The current situation is everything, Mr. Faze. Allow me, then, to explain the phenomenon of black holes appearing in deep space, along with my own theories about them. Sorry, Bacchus, but save the lecture for another time. We have to concentrate on getting out of here. Raimi! Give me 30 seconds. I'm inputting the gravity changes for emergency warp. Edge, look! It's really black and smoky. Is that the black hole? I've lost control of the Kalnus! Raimi! Too late! We won't make it! We... survived. Is everyone okay? Yes, I think. That was fun. It was all zap, boom, okay? <sighs> what are we going to do with you, Lemel? We were definitely caught in the black hole. Did we escape from its event horizon, then? No. I'm afraid that would be impossible. Perhaps it just happened to be a black hole with an ergosphere? Hmm. I suppose one might call it an escape through a type of wormhole. In any event, the fact that we escaped at all can only be called a miracle. Impossible! No, I'm certain my analysis is correct. No way! Miss Raimi, you doubt me as well? This is... Our homeworld? Is this Earth? Are we sure then? Yes, the results are the same every time I check. The stellar coordinates are an almost perfect match. There's no question that this planet is Earth. I see. What's wrong? This is Edgy and Ray Ray's home, isn't it? But both of them don't look very happy about it. I don't think it's so much unhappiness as it is bewilderment. Indeed. Arriving at one's home planet under such strange circumstances would put anyone ill at ease. But that's not the whole problem. There are subtle discrepancies between this Earth and ours. This isn't the most flattering part of our planet's history, but... A little before Raimi and I were born, the worst war in all of Earth's history occurred. The result was that the surface of the planet became terribly contaminated, and humans had no choice but to go deep underground. It's been the same situation ever since we were born. The polluted environment still hasn't improved. Of course, that was the very reason we looked to space. But there are no traces of pollution on the surface of this planet. Well, it's not quite accurate to say none at all, but it's still an environment in which humans could live. It's almost like the war that nearly destroyed our planet never even happened. Indeed. The fact that something you took for granted suddenly no longer applies is somewhat troubling. And there's another thing. The organization we belong to, the USTA, I can't get through to headquarters. Hmm. Mysterious issues all. 
Something unexpected may have happened here in your absence. Hmm? Uh, what is it, Lim? Everyone stop standing around and being all weird, Kay. Let's go out. I want to see Edgy and Ray Ray's home. What? Uh, mm, you see, Lemo. All right. Edge? The air outside seems breathable. I'm going out there to take a look. See if we can't find someone. In that case, I shall join you. And I as well. As a scientist, I am intrigued. Me too. Limmel, you stay and watch the ship with Raimi, okay? Mm. Raimi, take care of Limmel while we're out. Gotcha. Hey! Don't do anything stupid, Edge. Don't worry, I'll make certain of it. Yes, you may count on me too. Uh, why are the two of you answering for me? I guess I won't have to worry if Faze and Bacchus are with you. Hmm. <laughs>